हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डी के गौतम एंड थैंक यू फॉर ज्वाइनिंग इंटरव्यू पॉइंट फ्रेंड्स दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन सो इफ यू आर हैविंग मोर देन थ्री इयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस दिस क्वेश्चन मस्ट बी आस्ड बाय द इंटरव्यूअर सो यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज द पार्सल क्लास सो गाइस व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ पार्सल वी कैन क्रिएट अ क्लास एज पार्सल नॉट कंप्लीट क्लास here as you can see here in this picture so we can create multiple classes with the same name so that uh, multiple programmers can work on the same class as after the compilation the class will be same the one and only one class will be there okay so suppose here you can see uh, here in this picture suppose i am having a class with the name math so there is some method called sum and there is another Uh, class called map and there is method sub okay so here a different programmer is working and here different programmer is working so that we can understand here suppose we can have uh, any number of uh, classes here but with the same name so we can like uh, segregate our code like multiple multiple developers can work the same class okay simultaneously so that is called a parcel class after the compilation this class will be treated as only one class okay so we can create all the uh, like whatever the available in this class we can access by using the creating the object of this class suppose we are having another file with the name math and sorry file name will be a different but class name we can have same okay so let's understand with the help of example so here guys i have created a class class math1 and here class name is math don't go with this math1 this is a file name here you need to check this math math is a class also this is a name space make sure this is very important to understand the class suppose we are having this class and uh, i will create another class with the same name better to say i will create a new partial class or another partial class with the name math let's try to create another class with the i will give the file name as uh, math2 because file name must be different so here we are having math2 and we are having math1 here the class name must be within the so make sure you are having only one name space and then this parcel class will work okay so now let's create a parcel class here so i will give the name as uh, so let's create it a uh, parcel class parcel and give the name as math okay and now in this i need to write some logic in the math one first understand what is available here so i have two variables here private variables num1 and num2 and then there is a constructor so here i am assigning a private variable value through the constructor there is a method called sum and also i need to create a another method here sum so here this is the different method called sub so we are subtracting the value now here minus guys this is done now what we understand here we are having a math class here and we are also having a math class here okay so we have created two math classes okay but with the file name is different guys make sure we can also create this same class in the same file but there is no meaning okay creating uh, into a same file okay because we mostly go with the parcel class when multiple programmers working on the same class at that time we mostly go with the parcel classes okay so we can create like this okay so i am removing for now because it is not required here now here this is a math1 and this is a math2 and now i am going into the program class here i will create a object of this math class okay so math obj is equal to new obj okay guys so now you can see it is asking two values two integer values suppose i will give 10 and another value is 5 okay now if i will try to access the method of this math class so how many methods are there here we are having sum so we can call this sum method as well as obj subtract method so these method are accessible now and guys understand here i have created only one object and with this object i am able to call the uh, method of the both the classes so i am able to access both the methods okay so subtract method as well as sum method now you are, you may have a doubt here suppose if i will create a, another sub method here so here uh, suppose in this math one file i am having some method suppose i want to create a same method in this second file does it work actually it will not work why it will not work because it is treated like you already have a sum method so you can see 
the intelligence type math already defines a member called sum with the name with the same parameters type so guys we cannot create a multiple method with the same name and you can see the error type math already defines a member called sum with the same parameter types let me remove this it is not required okay guys so in the program class i just need to go here so i have created this object math and m is equal to this so now i am here accessing the method okay sum and sub now if i will try to run the code this is the program now we can see the output first will be 15 and second will be 5 okay and for the so just to remove the confusion so we can do this like this plus okay now let's run this and see the output sum is 15 and subtraction is 5 so guys like this we can work on the parcel classes so friends you need to remember these three points here when working on a large project spreading a class over separate files enables multiple programmers to work on it at the same time at that time we will go for parcel classes the second point is when working with automatically generated source code can be added to the class without having to recreate the source file okay so we no need to create the source file again and again the third point is when using source generators to generate additional functionality in a class so these three points you need to remember and now you will be able to answer of this question thank you guys for watching this video if you have any doubt you can ask me through comment guys if you haven't subscribed my youtube channel then please subscribe my youtube channel also you can provide the feedback through comments thank you see you